Humans vs. AI, a programming showdown that could define the future. In what may go down as one of the most iconic events in the history of programming and artificial intelligence, the At Coder World Tour Finals 2025 became the battleground for a head-to-head -head clash between the best of human ingenuity and the best of AI technology. For the first time, an elite AI developed by OpenAI was invited to directly compete against some of the finest human minds in the programming world in a 10-hour marathon contest. This wasn't just another competition. It was a symbolic face-off that captured the imagination of the global tech community and the general public alike. It posed a crucial question that's becoming more relevant every day. Can AI outperform humans, not just in tasks, but in fields requiring raw intelligence, creativity, and real-time strategy? A Polish prodigy faces off against the machine. At the center of the narrative was Premshuess Demiak, better known in the competitive programming world by his alias Saiho. A seasoned coder and competitive programming veteran, Demiak brought with him not just experience, but a deep connection to the very organization he was competing against. In a compelling twist, he is a former OpenAI employee, someone who had once worked on the advancement of AI systems. And yet, in Tokyo, he stood as a representative of human brilliance, battling against a creation born from the company he helped build. This wasn't a casual contest. Demiak, already drained from days of back-to-back -back competitions, entered the final showdown exhausted. But over the course of 600 relentless minutes, he summoned every last ounce of strength, skill, and instinct to win. The stakes were not financial or commercial. They were existential, philosophical, and deeply human. The format, brutally demanding and brilliantly designed. The competition followed AtCoder's heuristic contest format, which revolves around tackling NP-hard optimization problems. These are problems for which there is no perfect solution within a feasible time frame. Participants must rely on heuristics, smart guesses, approximations, and evolving strategies to inch closer to the best possible outcome. It's this kind of challenge that truly tests both computational ability and human intuition. For 10 straight hours, with only brief pauses between submissions, each contestant, including the AI, was given the exact same problem, the same rules, and the same hardware. What made the contest even more unique was the decision by AtCoder to treat the AI as just another competitor, not giving it any special accommodations. OpenAI's model, named OpenAI AHC, competed under the same constraints, which allowed the playing field to remain fair and transparent. The final scores, a narrow but symbolic victory. After 10 punishing hours of relentless coding, iteration, and strategy, Saiho emerged victorious, securing a mind-blowing score of 1,812,272,555,000. points. Just behind him, OpenAI's AI models scored 1,654,765,750,000 46 points, an extraordinary performance, but just shy of claiming the top spot. The margin? Roughly 9.5%. What's even more noteworthy is that OpenAI's model outperformed the remaining 10 human contestants, all of whom had spent years climbing the competitive ladder to qualify for the finals. These weren't casual coders. They were the top-tier elite. The AI didn't just compete, it dominated the majority of the human field. And yet, it couldn't beat Demiak. The human cost, exhaustion, emotion, and determination. Following his victory, Demiak posted on X, formerly Twitter, I'm completely exhausted, 
I'm barely alive. Humanity has prevailed, for now. His words weren't mere celebration. They reflected a physical and emotional toll, a powerful reminder that this wasn't a simulation or theoretical test. It was a battle of endurance, fatigue, and willpower, where one man had to hold his nerve against a system that doesn't feel pain, doesn't tire, and doesn't lose focus. For many watching the event unfold, Demiak's words resonated not just as a victory chant, but as a quiet, profound statement of resistance. In a world increasingly automated, he proved that human perseverance still matters. OpenAI responded, gracious in defeat, proud in progress. OpenAI, which sponsored the event, didn't shy away from acknowledging both the AI's near win and the symbolic significance of the loss. In a social media post, the company wrote, our model took second place in the AtCoder Heuristics World Finals. Congrats to the champion for holding us off this time. CEO Sam Altman, a key figure in AI development globally, added his voice to the moment with a simple, personal message. Good job, Saiho. These responses were more than courteous. They signaled that even within OpenAI, there is deep respect for human achievement and a recognition that while AI is growing fast, it hasn't yet eclipsed the soul of human capability. Why this moment matters more than the scoreboard? On the surface, this was a close contest between a machine and a man. But at its core, this event reflects a rapidly accelerating shift in how we think about programming, skill, and intelligence. For decades, programming was a domain almost exclusively dominated by humans. With the rise of generative models, reinforcement learning systems, and heuristic AI tools, that exclusivity is being challenged. The AtCoder showdown asked a question we'll all have to reckon with. Can AI match and even outperform some of the world's best coders under identical conditions? Then what does the future of software engineering look like? Will we see a new wave of collaborative tools where humans guide and refine AI-generated code? Or will the role of programmers, especially at the elite level, begin to vanish altogether? A tipping point, not the end. For now, the balance remains. Saiho's victory reminds us that there are still gaps between machine ability and human intuition. But the narrowness of the win also warns us that those gaps are closing fast. OpenAI's second place in this contest should not be seen as a loss, but as a watershed moment. It demonstrated that AI is now capable of high-level, competitive problem-solving in real time, without shortcuts or training set advantages. And that means future competitions might look very different. We may see AI-only brackets or hybrid human-AI teams. We may see ethical debates arise over whether it's fair for humans to compete with tools that never sleep or falter. And we will almost certainly continue asking the deeper philosophical question, if AI can think, what does that mean for what we once called uniquely human? Conclusion. For now, humanity holds the line. The AtCoder 2025 Finals may be remembered not simply for its scoreboard, but for what it represented, a rare, honest, and transparent test of man versus machine under the most rigorous of conditions. For now, human determination, adaptability, and emotional resilience still hold the line. But the writing is on the wall. AI is no longer knocking on the door of human potential. It's already inside, sitting at the table, playing the game, and almost winning. What we witnessed in Tokyo may be the first real battle in a long-term war over the future of programming, creativity, and control. And while Demiak may have won the day, the challenge for humanity has only just begun.